This is a response to pro or con video from Sexual Futurist. Uh, I gotta tell you, sex being a futurist in general means you have to ask questions. Questions come from either uncertainty. Actually, no, not either. They come from uncertainty. Uncertainty comes from conflict. If you're going to have freedom of speech, which is good, in my opinion, then you're going to have conflict, which can be creative and is not necessarily a bad thing. And so, whenever you have conflict, people are going to feel a bit uncomfortable. You're asking whether Sexual Futurist website is a pro or a con. I tell you, it is a pro in a big, big way. Because if you don't have a little bit of conflict and have the rules there to keep it civil, then by gosh, you're never going to get anywhere. Now, I'm not saying that some conflict isn't staged to keep people away from a real debate. It is. All of this abortion uh, debate is based off the central concern of what happens to women and the society with those women in it. Really, it's two sides bickering over the best way to c conduct uh, women's health. So... We can't be afraid of our emotions, and we can't be afraid of things that we see as emotionally important coming up in a debate. What we should be afraid of is losing our reason and our logic. And I'm not saying to the exclusion of emotion. We should be able to take a step back and go back to the original framing of the debate, like a preamble to a constitution, which happens with the eight sexual rights that uh, the petition on the website talks about. If we lose sight of those, then yes, their webs the website has no point. If we keep those in mind, and we have the debates moderated so that it is kept on topic, and that if people bring up subjects, they aren't straw-manning it, which is where you put up a false paradigm and people feed into it then yes, a website kept on topic, yet still free to speech, uh, free, still endorsing freedom of speech on given topics is always a pro and never a con. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and I hope you guys have a great 24-hour period, which you'd call a day.